Hi everyone, I'm Magic Dave and this is Sapiens. Um, so yeah, my face is up in the corner. Hello, um, this is me, this is what I look like. Um, I just thought that uh, I've, I had a light set up because I'm going to be doing some streams over the next couple of weeks for Next Fest. And I thought, uh, why not just chuck my picture up there? Um, you know, I'm not trying to hide from you. Uh, I've never put my face on it before, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. Um, so yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's been an amazing few days, like just just crazy you know ups and downs mostly ups actually i'd have to say it's been very very exciting um so we've had the trailer go out um a couple of weeks ago and then we've had the demo go out uh just a few days ago so if you haven't checked out the trailer yet go have a look um because we're gonna be talking about it in this video um and if you haven't played the demo yet then go go give that a crack as well um the the demo is limited to two days of gameplay and then um yeah you can but you can actually get through quite a lot in that time so um give it a go uh and we'll be, i'll be talking all about the uh the, how i've created the trailer um so it, i guess these videos are sort of if, if you know if you're new um they're a behind the scenes kind of look at, at how i'm doing things um and you can go right back to seven years ago when i first started creating the game um and look through all of the devlogs if you like but um yeah this is sort of gonna be looking at how I'm going through the release process and how that's all going. So that's kind of what this is all about. But anyway, let's um, get into this trailer and get into the sort of process behind it. Um, and then after that, we'll get uh, we'll look at the demo and, and look a bit more into that. So the trailer, let's, let's just get it started. Let's play. Um, so yeah, I guess we've got these sort of initial zoom ins and stuff. Um, the kind of difficult thing that I wanted to show was like the building of a, a village you know starting from nothing like we are here and then and seeing this village build up around you um, you know initially I was thinking time lapses would do it but you know everything everything would be moving so fast and you'd have like the, the seasons changing rapidly and it would just be a bit full-on so I thought that this um, method here would work a lot better now the the way that I figured or where I got this inspiration from was actually a um, David Attenborough documentary. I'm not sure which one it was, one of the recent ones. Uh, I saw some shots in there that was using this technique of um, sort of having camera set camera paths that were recorded multiple times over different seasons and then just fading between them. Um, and so that's what I wanted to do. And in the end, it only sort of the first the first part of the video was the only thing that sort of showed that. But um, you know, it just I think it worked quite well and I can definitely use it more in the future too. Um, so let's have a little look at a couple of the key kind of moments. Um, so this is an interesting thing. I almost removed this. I was on the fence. Um, <laughs> so for YouTube, it probably shouldn't be there. So for a cinematic trailer, basically, you don't want UI coming in right at, at the key moment, just bam, blocking your view of what you want to see. But this trailer is um, multi-purpose. Um, so I made it not just for YouTube, but for Steam as well. And it needs to be um, showing off the game as a whole and not just be this kind of cinematic thing where you don't know what's going on or what you can do. Um, and I thought that the fact that, you know, you're getting breakthroughs, rock napping, I thought the text was good. I thought it showed a bit of the UI and I just thought it was actually really important um, for the Steam page to show this. Uh, and also likewise with the building, um, building UI uh, and the tech tree basically as well so I, I you know it, it was a compromise you know it was it, it was something where I felt like I could go either way uh, and I decided to show it so you know for better or for worse I, th I think it's all right though I think I, I think I made the right choice uh, and the other kind of interesting thing would probably be this mammoth hunt um, so let me just play that again so it's sort of comes down and goes underneath the mammoth and then you've got these two guys uh, running past with with spears that they're not holding very well and then there's a few there's a couple of spears flying and um, this was really tricky because I can't really script everything exactly um, I could place the mammoths um, you know I, I just spawned mammoths basically and, and I actually tweaked the code to make them a little bit angrier so they were chasing after people a bit more um, but yeah, I couldn't really script what the sapiens were going to do and the camera motion path had to start uh, sort of about here or something. Um, you know, I I basically uh, started the camera flying around 
and then at some point unpaused it and just sort of hoped for the best and I couldn't see where the mammoths were or what was going on at this point. Um, and then when it, uh, this was about the 15th take, I think, um, where it actually flew underneath the mammoth. And, I, you know, there were still a few issues with this shot, you know, particularly these guys running. But I was just like, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get it to fly underneath that mammoth again. Um, so, you know, I just thought, OK, that'll do. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm happy with the trailer. I think it hits all the kind of really important things that I wanted to get across. You know, this is the late game kind of hotel. This is uh, this was super impressive. One of the testers um, built this over many hours. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought I thought it was cool to have also that spot. I, I really liked the view. Um, and, you know, I wanted to get snow in there and I wanted to get the um, music playing as well. Um, but yeah, that's probably enough scrubbing through the video. I'll show you a little bit about how the motion path system works um, shortly in the game. Um, but first, I also wanted to talk about the demo a little bit. So just hide that. Um, so yeah, we've got the, the Steam page here. Um, actually, before I even go into that, um, I've been working with uh, Vicarious, who is a PR and marketing agency. Um, and so they, they approached me, I mean, quite a few different sort of PR agencies and publishers approached me, but these guys, I just, I felt like they were quite a good fit. Um, and, uh, yeah, I ended up, um, taking them on to sort of help me out with the entire launch process. Um, so they're helping me out for a few months here and, uh, you know, that was a, a really good decision. I'm so happy that I did that. I, I was a bit on the fence, but it was absolutely the right choice. Uh, you know, I've got experience releasing games. Um, you know, I've released a number of games and, and they've done, a, done well and I know roughly how the release procedure goes and how, you know, what, what to expect. But this was different. It was on Steam. Um, you know, it's a bigger project. It's got um, a different audience. And, you know, I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. And I was a bit, you know, as much as anything, I was quite apprehensive about a lot of it. Um, and they helped give me a lot of confidence and sort of, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. They're pointing out things. Um, a good example of that is actually this uh, green button here. It was actually missing the first few days, even as the YouTube videos were going out and stuff. Um, and so people didn't know that you could actually download the demo. Uh, and yeah, I, um, I, there was a checkbox in the Steam in Steamworks that I had missed where you have to check it to actually say, yep, I want a big green button on my page. Otherwise, you get a little blue button over the side here. Um, and, you know, it's like, that's the kind of thing, you know, I sort of knew that I'd, there was probably something wrong, but I couldn't figure it out. And they just said, hey, you need to check a box. And it's like, ah, oh, thank you, you know. And that's probably going to double the number of downloads of the, of the demo because people are just going to miss it otherwise. So... Um, that kind of stuff, you know, it's, it's well worth um, getting advice on and, you know, that's going really well. Um, they also, of course, helped me with the Steam page itself. Um, they actually created these uh, GIFs and, and uh, we worked together on a lot of this text as well. So I've had a lot of help with it. Um, and also, yeah, Sapiens is actually a finalist in the Excellence in Design category of the New Zealand Game Awards, which was um, really nice, um, you know, to get that recognition. Um, so I also wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, now, now that the demo's out and we've sent it out to um, YouTubers. Uh, so that was something else that uh, Vicarious helped me with. They, they're kind of managing all the key requests and everything with YouTubers and sending it all out. Um, and that's going really well. We've had some really good coverage. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you a couple of the videos. Um, so we'll not actually play them, but just, you know, Nucrium um, covered it. Uh, pretty much straight away and um, you know that for me that, like that was what that the pinnacle of my career basically <laughs> like that was just awesome and you know I I, I just it, it's because I'm a fan of Nucrium I've, I've watched a lot of his um, videos uh, in the past and you know while I've been working on Sapiens and you know I just I, I guess for years now I've actually been imagining the moment that he's that he plays it and then he did um, then I actually caught it live and I was watching it on Twitch um, with my family um, and it was it was just really special you know it was really cool uh, and so after all that sort of hard work to just actually get that um, you know see him enjoy it and really sort of uh, you know playing it and 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 just <laughs> I don't know I just yeah I, I don't know it was one of those things that um, one of those things I'll remember for a long time um, yeah and he wasn't the only one who's um, streamed it so a couple of the other big videos we've had um, Blitz he covered it he's got uh, 3.7 million um, subscribers and uh, you know he seemed to quite enjoy it too quite a different style of video um, you know different audience and uh, sort of taking the piss a bit which I enjoyed 
um, it was good. It was good. And the kids, my kids loved it as well. Um, so yeah, it was, it was cool. And it was, um, n nice to see the, you know, some, someone coming from a different angle, really enjoying it too. Um, yeah. And also Splattercat, uh, covered it as well. And, um, yeah, he was a little bit skeptical at first on some of the, the multi-selection interface and stuff. And I, I have had some, you know, relatively negative feedback about that. Um, it's tricky. It's really tricky. So the reason that we've got this and that it's not just sort of dragging out a box while you're looking at it is because it's a first person camera. Um, and I've talked about this in my devlogs as well when I actually implemented this. Uh, you know, it, it's unique. Sapiens is unique because you have a first person camera in a city building kind of game. Um, and probably naturally you would expect it to be a top down game. Um, and probably this this is the the worst case. Like this is the situation that is the worst. But I, I actually think it works really well. And I think that, you know, testers, are, the feedback's been very good too. Uh, it just takes some getting used to. And um, in fact, Splattercat followed up after the video and, and said, you know, I, th I think it's good. Actually, you know, it, it, it's it's probably about as good as you could get it, um, which was amazing as well, like to, to get that feedback after, you know, the initial um, skepticism. So yeah, no, I totally understand. And I think that the controls do, do take some getting to, used to. So if you do, when you do play it, if you just feel like, oh, this is a bit off, just give it a bit of time because it's, it's designed to work, you know, in, in the long term, it's designed to be quite playable um, once you get used to it, but it is unique and it will take a bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, overall, I was just stoked with um, how he played it. And I've watched like videos that are in French and in um, Spanish and Japanese, and it's, it's so cool. Like, I don't, I don't know what they're saying, but I can still get a very good idea. And um, yeah, and I just the different play styles and everything, um, you know, getting more of a feel for the, the pacing and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just, yeah, it's really like it's a huge privilege to be able to watch these, um, you know, professional YouTubers playing my game. Um, and to, to sort of get that feedback and be able to use it. Um, all right, so let's just launch up the game. So I've got something interesting in the background um, to show you while we're, while we're talking. Um, so yeah, the demo's gone out. Uh, it's been out for a few days um, and it's had a few thousand downloads already. Um, you know, hopefully you've already given it a go and, and you've seen, seen for yourself what the game's about. Um, yeah, I, I'm very happy that I went with the demo. I wasn't going to initially, and that's something that Vicarious actually helped sort of talk me into doing. Um, you know, being part of Nextfest and, and putting the demo out. I was, I guess I was a little bit concerned that, um, I don't know, the demo wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be able to find a good place to end it or whatever, and that it wouldn't sell the game that well. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with how that's gone. I think that it does sell the game pretty well. And, you know, the main complaint has been that the demo is too short, which is actually, um, I mean, it's kind of what I want to hear, right? Like if I'm not hearing people say that it's too short, then it's too long. Um, you know, it is a demo. It's designed to sell the, the game. Um, it's designed to give you a taste of what's, um, what's available. And I think it does do that quite well, um, even better than I kind of anticipated. So um, yeah, overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, I've had a few issues. So, you know, because this is a custom engine, um, it's oh, the only testing it's had is from the hundred or so testers that have been um, like you know invited in to, to test the game before release. Uh, so uh, you know there were always going to be a few issues where it's not working on particular computers and the, and the like. Um, and so there was one particular crash where about one in fifty, I'd say, people um, would find that it didn't you know it would crash when you chose a tribe. Um, so that's now fixed. That was actually introduced just a couple of weeks ago when I was trying to fix a. Um, a stuttering issue in the particles. Um, so I've now fixed that stuttering issue without causing a crash for one in 50 people. Uh, it was just a bit of a silly mistake on my part. Um, so yeah, I mean, in some ways, like that's a great thing about the demo is that it actually, um, you know, it, it means that I'm slowly sort of rolling out. Like if that had happened for the full release, it would have been uh, not so good. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it, we're still before next fest even, so yeah, hopefully a whole bunch more people are going to play it next week as well. Um, and now I've fixed that major kind of issue. Uh, there are still people who can't play it, and I think mostly that's because their graphics cards and setups are not supported. Um, there's also issues with it not detecting the right card if you've got multiple GPUs and that kind of thing. Uh, mostly that works, but every now and then it doesn't. Um, you know, there's just a few teething issues and I'm, I'm getting a good opportunity here to fix those before, before release, which is really good. 
Um, so yeah, as far as the trailer recording that motion path went, um, so I've got this thing where if I go Control Shift One, then I've got I'm now editing a motion path, so I can go and set up some kind of point. Um, let's let's use if I hold um, Control, this is something you can do generally. Hold Control, I can actually zoom right in somewhere. Um, and then if I want to enter in a keyframe, then I'll hit save. So I've now saved this keyframe. So let's say we want to sort of swoop up like around here, maybe. So I'll hit enter again and then swoop up around here. So we we'll spin around and then maybe out here or something. So we have four keyframes. Now I can actually go between the various keyframes, um, snap between them with the keys down here. Um, you know, I can remove them, I can change the duration, and then if I want to play it out, um, I just hit control one. So there's multiple um, motion paths, I can assign them to I think five or something. Um, and yeah, so I can pause or play the game or whatever, and just play play through the motion path. So that user interface, I mean, it's, it's not great, it's pretty clunky, you know, but um, I really just made it for my own, um, you know, just for the trailer and uh you know it did the trick it was it was good enough that i could use it um you know my my first job part of what i had to do as, as a programmer was making motion paths for tv weather graphics so i actually have a bit of experience with doing this and with using you know very complex motion path editors and stuff um and yeah i just you know you, you can really make quite complex things but um you know, I just I just wanted to do something that worked and did the trick, uh, and it did probably take about a week to just work on this interface and make it all work and not kind of you know make it usable, um, and maybe I'll improve it in the in the future. But um, no, I think I think it went really well, and I think it was something that was just you know required to be able to do it. Um, you know, initially I was thinking, in fact, I have got very basic controller support in here, so I could use a controller to try to make smooth motion paths and stuff, but it's never going to be as good as a nice sort of curve between points. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so just, I, I wanted to show this this castle again um, and, and this world here that one of the testers has created. Um, I'll be showing this world off quite a lot. I, um, yeah, I've got a live stream coming in next fest where I'm going to sort of look at some of these advanced worlds and um, uh, talk a bit about them. Um, yeah, but it's just, I mean, when I first saw this, I was just like, wow, <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't expecting, um, you know, people to really make this kind of level of um, construction so it was very cool um, and you know almost almost surprising like wow this actually works you can actually build stuff like this <laughs> um, but no it's 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 really cool like um, to see the you know the tools that I've um, created just actually being used in ways that I hadn't really imagined um, but yeah, I guess uh, there's probably not a huge amount more I have to say at this point. Um, you know, we're, we're pre-early access launch, we're but, you know pre next fest really. The demo's out, and it's you know I, I've talked a bit about that, but um, yeah, we've still got the launch to go. Um, as far as like my own experience of it, and it's kind of the the madness <laughs> of it all. Um, there's certainly been a few ups and downs. Um, you know, when I first. Uh, you know, saw that Splattercat had done a video, I couldn't actually watch it for a number of hours and I just saw some of the comments basically sort of defending the controls and I was like, oh no, he's ripped into the controls real bad. Um, but then when I finally got a chance to watch the video, I was like, oh yeah, no, I see what's, you know, what's going on. It's okay, you know, he does like it, it was just, you know, whatever. Um, so, so that was all, you know, kind of terrifying for a little minute. And, you know, during this whole time, we've, you know, we've got four kids and uh, mostly there's been at least one of them sick at any one time. So we've been quite stressed out overall as a family. Um, but, you know, the kids are real into it. They're watching all the videos and stuff and really supportive. And obviously my wife, Emma, is just absolutely amazing um, looking after everyone and keeping the, keeping the house running and keeping everyone sane. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's tough like this the last few weeks have been more stressful than probably any other point in my uh, during game development um, you know it sort of reminds me of some of my work before that in um, the TV industry and stuff but um, 
yeah it's 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 been good though you know and i think it's gone extremely well and if it hadn't gone so well it would have been a lot more stressful but um you know i think it, things have worked out pretty well I, i've planned a lot to to make sure that this went okay especially with that um uh, slower kind of rollout as a result of doing the demo uh, before the main release. You know, it's given me a chance to fix up a few issues, and um, you know, it's, it's just sort of um, drawing out the release a little bit more, giving me more time to respond to things and, and all that. So that's great too. Um, so I do just want to say um, thank you, thank you to you guys. Um, like really seriously, you've you've helped me get to this point. Um, you know. The fact that you all kind of, a lot of you have been around since that um, uh, four year summary video, I think it was, that kind of got went a bit viral. Um, and you've stuck around and I've, you know, I don't respond to all your comments, I'm sorry, but like I've, I read every single one and I, it, it really has helped. You know, you've, you've given me some invaluable feedback um, and just been there sort of supporting me through it all because um, it has been a really long, long development time frame and uh, you know I need I did need that support it's been um, yeah really appreciated um, and also you know everyone in the discord um, obviously the testers I mean we've had over a hundred testers um, over the past year and you know without their help uh, it would have been an absolute disaster um, so I just needed all of that feedback and all of that sort of testing on various hardware and all that kind of stuff too um, so you know I really appreciate it plus they've created these these worlds that I can show off um, which has been awesome too. Um, and also, yeah, I've got a, I've mentioned Emma, you know, I'm obviously very thankful to my wife and, and all the support that she gives me, but um, also John uh, Consolakis, who is the musician and did the music, including the sort of pan flute um, solos and all the uh, drums and everything as they're playing music. Um, but also, yeah, all the, all the background tracks. So the soundtracks are actually available. Um, you can get the soundtrack now on uh, Bandcamp and uh, it'll be available on Steam very, very shortly. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you like the music, please buy the soundtrack that will support John. Um, he's getting all of the proceeds from the soundtrack sales. Um, so yeah, apart from that, if you haven't played the demo already, go, go play it, it's available and it will be available right through until, uh, well, at least until the end of next fest, possibly until launch, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, obviously we don't have a uh, release date yet. Uh, I will be announcing a release date around about the end of the month. Um, and so it'll be just a few weeks after that. I haven't got the exact date, but I, I will be announcing that um, soon. And uh, yeah, the, a few people have sort of, there's, there's a lot of questions that people have asked about sort of what content's in the, in the full version and stuff. And it, basically it's the same. I mean, the only difference between the demo and the full version is that um, you can keep playing and get through all the content. Um, but keep in mind, like, this is not, you know, like, this is a scroll view for a reason. Like, I'm going to be adding a whole lot of stuff uh, quite rapidly after early access. Um, so I'll be working on multiplayer and content. So I'll be adding a lot of new stuff to build with and decorate with and all that kind of stuff, as well as new technologies and things. Um, so, yeah, what we've got now is, is a starting point. You know, we're going we're gonna to get a lot further um, quite rapidly, I think. Um, and yeah, keep an eye on, on the Steam page for announcements about NextFest as well. I've got a couple of live streams coming up. Um, you know, there's a few events around all of that. Uh, and yeah, of course, I mean, I'm sure you've wishlisted it already, but don't forget to, don't forget to wishlist it if you um, haven't. Uh, that certainly does help me out. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the game um, and I will be, uh, you know, sort of seeing you through the next fest and so on. I'll, I'll be doing another big summary video uh, very soon or sometime before release. I'll be talking about, uh, you know, what happened through the whole process and uh, sort of summing it all up. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see you then. And yeah, I just, I just really hope you enjoy the game after all this. And, you know, it's certainly um, been a lot of fun making it a lot of lot of challenges and stuff but also you know we've got so much more to come as well so you know i hope you stick around for the rest of the ride um but yeah until then we will see you again next time see you later